Hey, welcome to the channel. Tennessee Fats here. Today, we're gonna do a mail call. I have four large boxes that are coming up from the States. Three of those have arrived, and I see that as an excuse just to open one of them. Because why not? Because, you know, having boxes around the house does you no good. Having cool books, you now that does you some good. So I'm excited about these for a lot of reasons. Uh, there's gonna be a mishmash of all sorts of things in these. Uh, some of this being the stuff I normally buy and some being stuff I don't normally buy, but one book in these four boxes is a grail. It was the only grail I set for my purchase list for 2021, and I bought it in the last week of 2020, just to stick it to 2020. Anyways, let's get off the anger. Let's open this one up. All right, let's get to this. So you'll hear some wave sounds in the background. That's because I'm listening to some very fancy live YouTube uh, wavy noises all going in the background here. So this is, I believe, this is, oh wow, press firmly to seal. Yeah, well, you're pressed firmly enough. This is a box from Book Mode Comics. These guys are out of California. I bought a bunch of things from before. I think I've actually done an unboxing of other things. I've a couple things there before. I like uh, a lot of the stuff these guys put in their auction. Uh, one of the things I like about it is that oftentimes they'll take old Silver Age books, uh, not for huge runs, uh, sometimes for huge runs, but not always, and they'll just bundle them together. Um, really? Uh, it weeds out the week, and it gets through the auctions faster, which is really cool. So check that out. Look at that. Yeah, that's all boxed up all nicely with uh, some bubbly wrap up top and bottom. Right there. There's me, Tennessee Fats. Yep, that's totally me. By the way, if anybody actually wants to know what my real name is, it's Rod McFarlane. Um, I don't hide behind anonymity, and this isn't some sort of secret superhero identity. It's just my identity, but... That's a cool label I use online. Uh, so there you go, Rob McFarlane. Now you know who I am. Whoa, this is a big rule. Get that out of the way. All right. That one's well bubble wrapped. And as you can see, that is a fat stack. What fat stack is this? You know, the funny part about this was the one thing I bought from these guys, it's actually, it's actually made it into a small Instagram story thing of the dirtiest purchase I've ever made. Uh, and I actually suspect this might actually be it, uh, which is kind of funny. And those of you who actually watch the auction are gonna get the joke. Those of you who don't watch the auction are gonna probably think that I'm a filthy bugger. Um, tough. It's my channel. Yeah, <laughs> it totally is. Look at that. Okay, so in my hands, I have, no, let me see how much I paid. The biggest stack of Black Hawk I thought I would ever hold in my hands. What I'm going to do with these Blackhawk is I'm going to take them in and out of my box repeatedly uh, and have a good time with them. Uh, oh, that's dirty. Anyways, what it is, it, literally, uh, it is a giant stack, I believe. This is one bundle of Blackhawk books. Uh, so you're talking Silver Age DC here. These are in... Really? I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at them now. Good condition. I know when... Um, Jamie and Felipe were washing them off. They were talking about them being like a seven or better. Yeah, I can see that. Look at that, eh? And 180, 170 something, 203. Like this was a massive, oh, checkerboard top. Look at that. Oh. You know, the older the Black Hawk, the better. Awesome books. Just awesome and the funny part about this is i never really bought this title before i just started thinking i should get into it probably about the middle of last year and this was the biggest bundle purchase that i made towards it look at the art on these just phenomenal and what's happened since then is every time i'm seeing them now i'm picking them up this and challengers of the unknown i don't know why um maybe i'm old i don't know this one's got a bit of a tear there but you know who cares it's just one book a crease in it uh, 181, two, wow, these are awesome looking books. Two thrilling novelettes. The Outcasts of Black Hawk Island. What was that like? You look at that. And they're all 12 centers. They're all 12 cent Black Hawk books. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yes, and the joke that we were running with during the actual auction was that this was more Black Hawk that I would ever hope to hold in my hands at one point in time. And yet here I am holding them. Oh, beautiful. This one's got a bit of a schmutt up at the top there, but you know what? So yeah, D-Day for the Blackhawks. That, 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 just, just awesome. Human starfish. 
I was thinking about this is like, this is a series that ran for, like, I think it was a quality comic series initially, right? And then DC picked it up and DC continued to run with it, but it's run and run and run. And it ran for, like, as you can really see, we're up to 220 in the issues that I've seen so far. It ran forever. And really, what was stopping it? I don't, I don't know. Like, this and the Challenges of the Unknown, these are these really weird little series that you get that just ran and people loved them at the time. And now, well, nobody's ever gonna pick up a Blackhawk book. Um, you know, maybe they'll make a movie about it someday, who knows? Who knows? But I am looking forward to bagging and boarding these bad boys up and having all this Blackhawk in my box. Just awesome. Well, there it is. There is the, this was the dirtiest comic purchase I've ever made. Uh, and these are in phenomenal condition. So Jamie and Felipe, like, damn. Damn. All right, well, I'm going to go continue drinking coffee now and uh, eat a Mars bar. Talk to you later.